Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with another Afghan update. I know it seems like it's been a long time since I've had an Afghan update and that's because it has been a long time. Just to refresh everyone's memory, back in March we had a gift registry from my mother for her 92nd birthday. Anyone who wanted to could order skeins of yarn for her. And all the yarn is being turned into afghans that we are going to be donating. I am also making some afghans from yarn that was donated just from someone's house. And I'm using up that yarn. And each month I like to show you what afghans we've made. So you can see what you have made possible for others. I haven't donated any yet. I'm waiting until it's like maybe September. And... Um, when it seems more appropriate to donate an afghan. I can't imagine anyone wanting one right now. So far I have done an update for April and May. Then in June my mother made a couple and then Skylar came for her five-week visit. And I know my mother was crocheting a little bit while Skylar was here but then she got sick with a bad UTI. Some of you will remember that. So she stopped crocheting. I wasn't able to crochet at all. So that just put a damper on the Afghan productivity. So I didn't bother to do a video for the end of June. Skylar left July 23rd and my mother did not go right back to crocheting. She still wasn't feeling great, but she is back to crocheting now. Full time, around the clock, and I am also crocheting too, so we are going to have more afghans to show you. But what I do have to show you today is, I believe it's five. Oh, let me see her. And as usual, I will open them up and put them on the bed and show you them one by one. Is there anything else I want to tell you? I don't think so. Oh, I have a playlist below this video if you want to get caught up and see the other afghans we made. I believe the playlist starts way back to when my mother started getting the yarn and I was doing the yarn unboxings. So if you're new to this, you can go back and look at those other videos. I'll have a link for the playlist below this video. You just click on that and then you can choose which videos you want to see. And that's it. I will be doing another one at either the end of August or the very beginning of September to show you what we've made this month in August. All right, let's look at the Afghans. Okay, here's the first one. And I was going to say, I've just recently discovered that there's actually a need for wheelchair afghans, which are narrower than your regular afghans so that they don't um, hang on the wheels and stuff and, and longer. And I'm almost thinking that this is accidentally a good one for that because it is kind of on the narrow side, but kind of long. But anyway, if not, it would be certainly be a good cuddly afghan for a smaller person or a kid and this is my mother made strips with alternating colors and then some variegated yarn between the blocks and then I crochet around the strips for her and put the strips together because she doesn't like to do that part so that's afghan number one very colorful very soft I like it Here's another one that might actually be good for a wheelchair or it could be good for the top of a crib or again just a nice blanket to fold up and put on a kid's bed if they want to just cuddle up or on the couch. Very colorful. This one was just made one piece with alternating stripes and then I finished the edge with this little kind of a uh, little scalloped edge. Very soft. Here's another one that's on the smaller side and she must have been into these particular colors because it seems like the first three that I've showed you so far have maybe a lot of pink or purple or yellow. Once again my mother made this just all in one piece with rows of various colors and I finished it with a little pink detail and green edging. This one is a little wider, lots of green, a big green panel in the center, and then the variegated yarn. Panels on the side. Oh, I see she has a little bit of a fancy stitch in here. She makes up stuff. I mean, I know there is such a thing as shell stitches and popcorn stitch and all that, but uh, she makes things up as she goes, which is why she says she has to hurry up and finish because she won't remember what she's doing. So, <laughs> and I uh, put the... Uh, 
panels together for her, and I did the edging with the variegated yarn. This one would be great for the top of a twin bed. I have one more for you. And last but not least is one that I made, the only one that I made out of this batch. And I tried something different, and I made squares on a diagonal with two colors per square, and just crocheted all those squares together to make this funky little blanket. And I kind of like it. Ooh, I thought I'd finish up this video downstairs because it is just sweltering in the bedroom upstairs. I did put the AC on and shut the door for a while and to let the room cool off before I went up there, but I didn't want to run the AC while I was recording because I just didn't want that background noise and uh, it got hot quick. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video and I have some nice big plans coming up. This new idea that I have, I think it's going to be pretty exciting and I'm very anxious to get that started. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any of the details. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye!